Hello everyone and welcome back into my kitchen. Come on, let's make this dish. Alright guys, so here are the ingredients we will that we'll be using for our mole poblano. And this dish is frequently uh, served for Dia de los Muertes. And that means Day of the Dead where um, family members celebrate and appreciate members of their family that have gone on before. In the Caribbean also, actually on the exact same day, which is November 2nd, um, the same thing is observed and it is called uh, All Saints Day, where people go to the cemetery and they clean up everything, get rid of all the weeds and they light candles and put flowers and um, just celebrate uh, folks that have gone on by. Anyway, that's the backstory. Um, I have here some dry chilies. These are ancho chilies and I have six of them. I also have here two pasilla chilies. Um, I have a chile poblano. And I have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five cloves of garlic, one medium onion. The first thing I'm going to do is just wake up my chilies by heating them up on my stove. I'll bring you over so you can see what I'm Okay guys, so we're starting over here by the stove. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to wake up my dry chilies. I have here six ancho chilies. I'm just gonna put them on my pan and toast them so they wake up and release all of their flavor. I have two pasilla chilies. I'm gonna add those on here. Actually, I have three and I'm just gonna toast these and you'll see a change in the color Toast them on both sides and then we'll come back and move to the next step. You can see this one here already puffing up See So basically it will help them become more fragrant and they'll be more pliable also So I'm just gonna toast these maybe for about a minute minute and a half on each side and I'll be right back all right, so these have toasted nicely and they're very fragrant. I'm putting them here in a bowl. And what I'm going to do is cover them with hot water and put something on top of them, maybe a saucer or something, just to um, weigh them down. All right, I'll be right back. All right, now we're gonna move on to toasting some more of ingre our ingredients. I have a quarter of a cup of pumpkin seeds, a quarter of a cup of almonds, and we're just going to toast those. I have a stick of cinnamon here. I'm going to break it up. We just want to toast these things and wake them up because we're going to be blending all of it. Here I have also a half of a teaspoon of uh, peppercorns and half teaspoon of cumin in those go. And I'm going to let this go for two or three minutes and then I'm going to add in a half of a cup of um, sesame seeds or ahonghole it's called. All right, I will be back. All right, so that has toasted. I've added in my sesame seeds and now I'm going to add in a quarter of a cup of raisins just for about 30 seconds. And I'm gonna drop that all. You can either use a blender or a food processor and get them all in there and start them going so that um, they can begin to break down. And I'll show you what we're doing next. All right, so the next thing I have here is a piece of baguette. Um, you can also use one of those like, um, what do you call those, like a hoagie roll or something, or a couple of tortillas, you can also use that. I'm just going to toast these and those are going to go in the food processor also. I'm going to add on my one chile poblano and what I want to do is just blister every side of this. I'm going to add my five cloves of garlic. See them? Five cloves of garlic. And I'm gonna cut 
my onion in a few pieces and toast those also. What we're trying to do is achieve some smokiness. So all of these are going to get toasted and everybody's going into the blender or food processor pool. Okay? Okay, I've removed my bread and got it in the food processor and I think these are onions and garlic look pretty good I'll put them in as well I'm still just working on my poblano I want to blister it all over and um, that too will get into the food processor okay okay so in my pitcher here I have six cups of warm water and what I'll be using this for is to help to loosen up some of the stuff that will be blending in our food processor so everything that we toasted on the stove there a little while ago is in here and I've added some water just to make it go around now I have another pan here and I have a strainer actually I have two of them just to make sure I catch everything I'm gonna strain everything from here into here so I catch all of the chunks if there are any all right so here are my chilies that we soaked in hot water and all I want to do is get the stem and all of the seeds off see and uh, you can opt to remove the seeds before you soak them and um, before you soak them and roast them but I just threw them in it really didn't matter at that time I just wanted to do it so let me get these all straightened out and get them in my food processor and I will be back Alright, so let me familiarize you with the rest of the ingredients that we have here. First, I have some chocolate, and I'm using this Abuelita chocolate. Um, it comes in like sort of discs, so I have three quarters of one disc here. I have a quarter cup of brown sugar. Let me see if you can see that. You know there's going to be chicken bouillon powder involved. I have here a quarter of a cup of um, peanut butter quarter of a cup of lard and while I was blending up my uh, mixture I added one cup of tomato sauce okay let's move on over to the stove I'm going in with my lard first by all means you can use uh, oil if you prefer so I'm just going in here with that and I'm gonna make sure you can see. All right, let's go in with our mixture of peppers and everything else. And let me get all of this out. I'm making a mess. You won't believe the mess I made on my counter, on my elephants, everything with this <laughs> blending this sauce. Ridiculous. All right. Now I'm going to grate in, not grate, sorry, just cut in my um, chocolate. I'm just making it into smaller pieces so that it'll be, it'll melt down more easily. I'm also going to put in my quarter cup of brown sugar and my peanut butter and get everything mixed and marrying together. <clears throat> okay, so I have all the ingredients in here now and if you've been paying attention at all you would know that we did not add any sort of salt to this so I'm going to go with my chicken bouillon powder and at first I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon I remember we have six cups of liquid in here in addition to our peppers I anticipate that this should be enough salt but we will taste it once it, it's had a chance to um, marry together. So what I'm going to do is lift this up and let it go on low maybe for about 20-25 minutes and I'll be back. Alright so we're still chugging along here. I have tasted that and I think we still need a little more salt. So I'm going in with about a tablespoon and a half. 
All right, uh, we'll let it up and let it go again for a few more minutes. Mix it around. I'm working on some Mexican rice back here and I'll show you how we're gonna serve this. All right, so here is our mole. Oh, it smells fantastic. And what I have here is I'm cheating today and I'm using a rotisserie chicken. And what I'm going to do is just, um, I put some of the mole in the bottom of the pan, cut my chicken up, put it in here, and I'm just going to add some mole all over it. And I'm going to lid this up and just give the chicken a chance to heat through properly and suck up all of that delicious goodness. I'll be back to show you what it looks like. All right, here is our chicken. And the only thing left to do to this is to add some sesame seeds or a hongoli. Let me bring it closer so you can see. Mmm, this smells so fantastic. Okay guys, thank you so much for stopping back into my kitchen. I sincerely appreciate you and I hope you take the time to make this mole poblano for your family because I think they're going to love it. See you next time. Bye.